Hey everybody, do you have one of these little cheap, get a coupon, get free, little syntax, you know, they actually come numerous names, and you're wondering when you try to test transistors and other items that it, man, it just don't seem to work right. Well, most of the time, it's just because the battery they put in them from the factory is garbage. So what I want to do is I want to tell you that you can change the batteries in these, and I was surprised to find out how many people just threw them away. And you know, it's just a nine volt battery. There's two screws in the back. Take the back cover off. Nothing's going to fall apart. Okay. And that's the factory battery that comes with these little Syntex. And they are simple, but this little IC integrated circuit up here is not going to operate correctly if the voltage is not above seven and a half volts, which means you had a dead battery. So this battery here being very dead, uh, I am taking out this battery here being completely under voltage. I will remove it and put in a new battery. Now, yes, you get these for free and they're only worth probably about a buck and a half, but you might have a battery laying into the house versus spending all the gas to drive up the Harbor Freight and get you another free one. Well, it's not exactly free, is it, when you have to spend all that gas money? And by replacing the battery, and I love these Amazon basic batteries. They're hellaciously good alkalines. They last as long as the energizers, so I, I recommend them. Um, this right here, and I might put a link where y'all can go straight to it instead of having to hunt. This right here is the solution. Just put in a new battery. Now, I use these on a regular basis, and now you'll see, powers up, balances out, very nicely. Everything on this one works. Why throw it away and go get a new one? Unless you just need new wires or something. Put your battery in it. Hell, you can even put a 50 cent heavy duty battery in it and you'll be very happy with the results. So, all right, just giving you all that idea. And as far as how dead was the battery, well, let's check it out. Here's the battery. Here's the meter. And we have our positive and our negative here. And so you see below seven volts, this old dead battery below seven volts will not, seven and a half actually is the breaking point for these little meters. Below that completely throws off all your measurements on this thing because it doesn't properly be processed and it has an isolated power supply, which is that battery. So be sure you change your batteries and you won't have these problems.